Hi, my name is Avery Fisk, and welcome back to another episode. Ah, freak. Hi, my name. What the heck? Let's intro over. Hi, my name is Dread Isle or something, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Call of Cthulhu: Dark Corners of the Earth. Blind. It's been a while. I'll explain why in a minute. And sort of. Got it. Little fish fries don't know what's about to come to them. You don't jack with Jack. Cause I'm Jack. Oh, ah, freak. Are you serious? Why can't I get out of there? Oh, no, I remember why I hate this game. Holy crap. Holy crap, my mass sensitivity is just going bonkers. Look. Caesar Jack. This is just bad. Uh, hang on one sec. I'll talk more in a sec. I need to get out of this really bad situation. I got text. And by getting out, I mean I'm gonna die. <sighs> Retry. Once I get into a safe spot, I'll explain why the videos, uh, why it's taken a while. Okay. Gosh. Uh. Mass sensitivity change. Control alert. Okay. One. Because it's that bad. Not that bad. Ah, it, see, now, it's been a while, obviously. My mass sensitivity is really messed up. Gosh. Show you. <laughs> Did I win? Oh, I have a revolver now. That's pretty bad, eh? Not that I don't, I don't need it anymore, though, so... Okay, so... I can't save, so this could be very bad. But... Let's just have faith in the old Dread Isle. He's proven himself less than retarded many times. And more retarded than he should be in other times. See, all this is dangerous. Okay, so, reason. Reason why I haven't had videos in a while. September, sometime. Avery's freaking Dread Isle's computer. Gosh, I keep calling myself by real name. I'm Dread Isle. Dread Isle's computer, Avery, me, crashes, boom, hardcore. I lost two drives at once, so I had to reinstall Call of Cthulhu. And about the past month, I replayed the entire game to get back up to this point where I was in the Let's Play. So that was sort of my delay. Um, and I'm never really going to be done with Let's Plays that I put on hold. I just skip around and come back to them later. So like, holy crap, these are like total fishies. That dude is such a fish man. That is a fishy dude. Hey, look at him. A normal man would wet his pants. But Jack is no normal man. He doesn't even have pants. So there's nothing to wet. Okay, this is where it gets dangerous. We're in the light. Oh, we're in the light. And now you know why I do not take choir class. Holy crap, this is this is just intense. I've been playing, replaying through this game. It's been the most annoying thing in my life so far. I, I <laughs> it's this is an interesting game. I had to replay all the scary parts, which sucked. I had to go through the sewers again. I was expecting it this time, so. But I'm back, and that's what counts, I suppose. Sorry about that, viewer, but all good things come to those who wait. And thanks for those who stuck around. And by the way, if you haven't, if you haven't already done this yet, and you're already this far in the series, which probably means you sort of like me, at least. Interruptions! GTFO. Get the f out. So, if 
you sort of have to sort of like me at least just a little bit and if you do just hit that subscribe button it's, it's in the top left corner hit the button if you don't hit the button oh snap okay so this is where we're gonna have to fight you won't see anything unusual Okay, I'm trying to get a good aim of his head. Alright, Uno does trace. Wait, am I injured? I am injured! Let's do that first. No wonder my aim is like all off. I've been shot and bleeding. It's enough to unsteady a normal man. everything okay? Not for long. Here we go. I love how the AI is. That was that's that's the summing up this game in one sentence. Bad AI. Did you hear that? It's just dread I'll take it out four of your coony fishy fries. Did you hear something? Yeah. Did you feel something? I shot you in the back. Oh snap, he has a Tommy gun. What the heck? Who? Who's there? Oh snap, I'm screwed. Viewer, help me! Viewer, help me! Help me! Help me! I don't know how you can, but. Oh no. No, 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 no. I do not want to have to redo this. I do not. I felt beefy. Closing doors. Why didn't the enemies drop ammo? I've, I've wondered that. I was replaying and I was getting pissed because I kept running out of ammo. And there's no enemies that drop them. There's plenty of enemies, but there's no droppage of ammo. You'd think it. Some fat fellow probably sat on those shelves. What a retard. Ha! Huh. I don't have anything against retards. Hopefully it's not too loud. It's sort of close to the mic. Sorry if I am loud. And if there's any audio problems, I'll fix them because I'll watch this after I tape it. And I'll have to edit it. It's locked. Okay, now what? We're on the roof. This means something. Do I shoot something? Or someone? I'm gonna shoot Peter Del Toro. Okay, there's nothing up here, so I'm going back. This this let's play is not getting a lot of views. I don't give a crap. I love. I, I'm gonna finish out the game. Thanks for people who are watching it. All right, what the heck? Hey, running around warehouses. Look, this is like Minecraft boxes everywhere. It's like I found the next way place to go. Isn't another sneaking part? Gosh dang it, I hate sneaking. You move so slow. I'm fine with sneaking, believe me, I love that kind of stuff. I'm a sneaky dude in Skyrim. But when it gets to this level, it's just. I feel like the tortoise that must not be known that has been. <laughs> has just been like abused in his life and just can't move faster than like. Even centipedes beat him in foot races. He's just a poor fellow. I feel bad. There's keys, so I'm gonna take them. I hope no one's here to see me take them. Jack, I'm up here. Ruth, it's been a while. <laughs> How are you doing, laddie? Last, Ruth, ooh, last what the hell are you doing up there? I must have been followed. They stormed inside just moments ago. There was gunfire outside. Why is Jack going? I only just managed to climb up here and threw the ladder like down to rapist. escape. I'm trapped up here, Jack. The door's padlocked, and this ledge isn't gonna hold for much longer. I don't wanna die, Jack. Help me! Keep back! Oh, I'll you can survive a fall out. from that high as I long as you land something. on your face. It's around here somewhere! Outsider! Oh, you guys. I know you're some outsider! Now I'm not killing you, I'm sneaking out. <laughs> <like, laughs> 
What the heck? I did not ask for that. I don't know what to do. What the crap? <gasps> no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. What the heck? Can't get in. Why can't I get in? <laughs> that. Oh, there's more. Here, do you want another free sample? Want free sample? Come here. Come here, fishies. Free sample. That was just a sample. You oh, no, oh, Sam. I was just joking. Oh, you, you, sir, I don't, you don't need a free sample. Take it. You can die. Oh, after I reload. You may die again. No! How many of you freaking fishes are there? Why would everyone in the town be so bad? Even Compton isn't this bad. Because something's... M.O. I really am not afraid of these retards anymore. Why can't they just be happy? Don't worry about a thing. Da 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 da. It's gonna, it's gonna be all right. Oh no, she's dead. Oh crap! Are you serious? Get out of my way. I'm checking to see if Lady is dead. And you're not helping. Stop, car, stranger. Uh, hello. Ruth's dead. Looks like she broke her neck in the fall. Brian's not going to be pleased. Oh well. Uh, hello, Brian. Um, no, this is not much to say. Ruth wasn't there. Uh, it wasn't what you think. It's not what you think. I'm sorry, Brian. Ruth's dead. I tried to save her, but... No! Uh, Damn it! That's not possible! If it wasn't for me, she'd still be alive. Shut yes, let's go with you that. You don't have time to be angry. If we don't get out of here right now, we're gonna end up the same way. Get in the back. Yeah, I was getting tired. There's a freak out of town not far from here. Just hold on. Feds in the Asylum. Next chapter. I won't talk too much in cutscenes, I'll try not to. <laughs> Your head's too bright, you baldy. Light's reflecting off of it like a magnifying glass. It could light a freaking campfire. I'm getting a lot of FPS. F58 frames per second. Opinion. Remember who funds this damn nut house? 
Very well. He's awake. Ah, Mr. Walters. Our friends in the Boston PD hold you up as quite the hero. Before you went all screwy, that is. Huh? I don't like heroes, Mr. Walters. And I don't care for your opinions, whoever the hell you are. J. Edgar Hoover, from the Bureau. Oh, snap. And considering your position, Mr. Walters, you best mind your manners. This guy is now, amazing. What was your business in Innsmouth? Just stopping in on some broad. I was feeling down on my luck. Needed the company. Ah, bullshit. There are only two types of folks that visit Innsmouth. Criminals and fools. And you don't seem like a fool. Appearances can be deceptive. I see. Dr. Hardstrom, if you'd be so kind. Huh? Am I in a rack or something? No. Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Car battery? Oh, oh dang, they're torturing me. Oh no. Wake him up. Just charge me with something, cause I don't know nothing. This is not gonna stop, Mr. Walters, so you may as well level with me. I already told you. It was nothing. A missing person case, and I needed the dough. Ramona all of a sudden like the fear girl. I was only checked in for one night, and I had to blow the joint in the early hours. Seems the locals didn't take kindly to my snooping. For Christ's sake, Walters! Is it normal in your line of work to break a punk out of the can, then breeze out of town in a stolen car? Only on the good days. But not normally, no. I've had a shitty night, Hoover. So I'd really appreciate you cutting me some slack. What's the Bureau's beef with Innsmouth, anyway? Widespread criminal activity, Mr. Walters. And half the damn town's involved. Our government's never had to handle something on this scale before. But they won't sanction a full-scale operation without more evidence. Well, I appreciate the bedtime story. I don't see where I come into this. Thanks to your meddling, Mackie's gone missing. And he was close to something. Something we could use. Missing? What do you mean, missing? He was supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target? The Marsh Refinery. Ugh. I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. I don't work for the Bureau. Work for the Bureau. I'm not in the business of making requests, Mr. Walters. Or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there, and we can make you a permanent fixture of this delightful establishment. I could even arrange for you to have your old room back. Fuck you. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Walters. Pleasant dreams.
pause if you want to read. Next time on Let's Play Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth, Blind. We do some small raid, World of Warcraft raid on Innsmouth or something. <laughs> See you next time.